So part two of dating and being plus size, I left off, my camera kind of stopped on me because I'm running out of batteries, or batteries and memory. But I feel like sometimes I'm seen as a fetish, especially for taste testers online. They just, they want like a beautiful black woman who has curves and is plus size and beautiful, but they don't want to claim that beautiful woman in front of their friends and family because perhaps of their body shape or their curves and also because of their race. It's become somewhat of a fetish. But even in today's society, I think that dating in general has gotten way out of hand. I think women have made it so easy for a man to get exactly what he wants without even taking them out. Just a simple click and hello on an online dating app that they can Netflix and chill and not spend any money, any time, uh, really no conversation, and just pretty much get the full package, the, the whole cow, the whole, the milk and everything else that comes with it for free. I mean, a man is not going to want to commit and he knows that he can go out the next weekend and do the same thing. And this is what men are doing. Like, this is nothing new. And then when they take you out, they expect for you to give it up because they spent money on you. Like they did something that you couldn't do for yourself. I can take myself out to dinner. I I can travel, you know, I have, I travel often, I have a passport, you know, I have a a readily used passport and um, your little dinner that a man is taking me out on is something that's definitely appreciated, but not something that I can't do for myself. But I think in today's society, men think it's too, it's too easy and it's, and they think that they're entitled to a woman's body. So, I mean, they want to try different things. They want to try, like, you know, let's try a blonde girl for this night. Let's try a brunette. You know, let's try a plus-size girl tonight. You know, they're just, like, dipping and tasting and jumping into any situation they want to for the night because they know they can have a different experience the next weekend. And I, I find that as... A woman, we have to stay a little bit stronger than that in order to uh, raise our standards of dating. It's not fulfilling for most women, I believe, to just have a one-night stand. And I am looking for longevity. I'm looking for a genuine connection. And I don't want a man that has been in, in Betsy's, Jessica's, Tanya's bed for every night for the last four years and then he wants